In this episode of Horse Shelter Heroes, we are here in Shelbyville, Tennessee, being the voice for horses. A whole lot happens in this episode. You will not want to miss a single minute of Horse Shelter Heroes. We have been extremely busy this year and we have helped horses in all these colored states here. Um, there's only 13 states left in the United States that we haven't helped horses at and we've also helped a lot of horses um, abroad. We helped horses in Indonesia that were in a critical situation. Um, so very, very excited. Um, this puts our numbers currently at 1,025 horses um, that we have helped just this year. I think that is so amazing. Helped rescue, shelter, and protect this year. Um, and we hope that we'll be able to reach out um, during the, you know, the rest of this year and help horses in every state um, in the United States. But over 1,000 horses already this year. That's a huge accomplishment. It's only been eight months. Yeah, in eight months. Um, We've been very, very busy. So um, it is now September 1st, and these are all our adoptions for um, August. August, yes. It's been busy. We had one cat adoption, and then we had 21 horse adoptions. And there were some shelter transfers yep. in here as yep. well. Um, so and networking with other. Six shelter transfers, yes. I believe. So um, yep. we, every month, uh, this is our adoption wall or found love. Um, so over on the available side, it's <clears throat> it's looking for love, and then they find love, and the adopters are able to uh, take them from over there and put them up over here. Um, but now that it's September first, we we're going to take them all down. Once they are taken down, then they go to our adoption follow-up department, which Dawn runs, and she'll call them and check up on them. And if they have any issues, um, they can always come back. Uh, sometimes, you know, they just need to talk with the trainer and work through a few things that they run into with their horse, but um, it's, it's always excited to see how many horses were adopted at the end of the month. So, and we were able to adopt out two of our donkeys this month. So. And they got to go together. Yep. Yeah, so, so we cute. We six shelter transfers that went to Ponytails. Um, and Donovan. Donovan found a home. Aw, I'll always remember that horse. Which is very exciting. He left a permanent mark on Tony. Yeah, it's just permanent mark. Venus, who everyone really loved, finally found her home. That was one of our transfers. June was a transfer to Ponytails. Indigo found an amazing home. It was a birthday present to that owner. Because her husband forgot yep. her present. He's so like, she, what do you want? That She's was her like, birthday present. A horse. So Disney was one of our transfers. Doodle Bug. She went is to doing, an amazing home. He is so good. I've already seen updates <laughs> and they just love him to death. He's a character. Lorelei found someone that can continue her training on. Titan and Captain Red went together. They did. And they just, they, people love them they love, so much. They're awesome. Yeah. They're teaching the kids how to ride. Um, Kalila and Zephyr went together. We always love it when they go together because they make friends here and then it's it's nice when they can go together. And Kalila was a hard one to place because she only had the one eye. And then Sandy was a transfer to Ponytails. Maya went to our Taitlin, which is exciting. Sure. She's one of our employees. Our grant manager. Rory have found someone to continue her training, and we actually just saw an update on her, and she's very happy in her new home. Um, Soldier and Asta went together. And I've seen updates and already. Their They're pictures are great. very cute. The kids love to cuddle yes. with Soldier. And then Oakley actually went to Caleb. Yeah, who's our media guy. So two staff adoptions this month. The rest were uh, either shelter transfers or adoptions. A so. lot of them went in the adoption event also. Yeah. So, super exciting. We have our next adoption event in October, which is our annual fall in love adoption <laughs> event. So, because it's fall and then you gotta fall in love with so a horse, so. Hopefully you guys fall in love with some horses. Yeah, absolutely. So this is, well, the horse is Brandy. This is little kitty Tinker. He's being seen by the vet today because um, he's got a little snotty nose and he's just not feeling well. Um, but. 
Brandy is like is 15 years old. Um, we're pretty sure she used to be at Bucking Horse, so she definitely knows how to buck. Um, but she's got a super bad wound on her leg now, and we're not able to doctor it. Um, she doesn't pick up her feet or anything. So we're just talking to Doc to figure out what is the best thing for her in her situation, and you know, long term, um, finding her a home and. Um, people were able to take care of her and her not hurting anybody and nobody hurting her and just the different things we're trying to weigh out here. This is Vanna. She has been having some trouble with her feet. She has a previous history of founder, so we're just going to go ahead and x-ray her back feet. We've already done her front feet just to see if anything comes up. It's rotated just a tiny amount. Yeah, not, not much. Not much. Do her other one and see. Yeah. Okay. So what do you think, Doc? She's not as foundered on the x-ray as she looks like she is in person. So we're going to probably continue her on some butte. She has improved greatly on that. Maybe some muscle soreness went along with it. So maybe we can work that out. And... Uh, we just took x-rays of Vanna's back feet. They're, they're both the same. It's only moderate, moderate founder. Mm -hmm. So we're going to stay with the program of Buda and now. Limited access to fresh green high sugar grass. For one more week and reevaluate. Right, now we're going to x-ray the kitten. We'll go. We're x-raying Tinker's lungs because she's got some rattling going on in there and they're not sounding too great. Um, this little one, look, it's got a wound. I guess maybe you guys don't want to see that. But Pretty soon we'll have our vet bill and all this will be solved. We're just doing a few rechecks on some of the horses that came in from the last auction just so we can keep up to date so whenever they come out of quarantine, Doc doesn't have such a huge list to look at on that day. So what about this one that Maddie's This one, um, his name is Senador. He has a swollen fetlock that hasn't gone down since we got him, so we're just going to check it and just to see how it's doing. It may need more time or something, I'm not quite sure, so we're just going to check and see. Well, she's supposed, she's supposed to have some slightly swollen ankles, but they don't look too bad. And I really didn't see her limp, so we're just going to keep her on the watch list until she clears. It was just a really short day today, kind of. Kind of. Still sort of serious. Yeah. Uh, we did have cats on the list. We looked at a lot of cats. And then we saw some other horses that feel like we did pretty good on some of them. They're coming along. We got some hoof problems and some back problems that we think are coming along pretty good. But then we had two that we had to do the last act of kindness. Big Ben, he was sore when he came, but no matter what we did, he just was not improving. And just from the pain, he was gonna have to grow frogs and hoof walls and it just was not looking good. He was a sweet horse. And then we had Miss Brandy that, uh, she had some behavior problems that made it hard to treat any wound that she might have or check anything. And she had a wound on her ankle uh, that happened because we had to put her in a chute to vaccinate, to, to get some, to give her a tranquilizer. But uh, with her behavior problems and that wound that we can't treat because she's just so untrained, it was time. Yeah, we tried for a couple weeks to treat it and just kept getting worse and kept getting worse and Big Ben couldn't walk at all. Poor guy, he he couldn't even come for his grain. We had to take it to him and it's really sad when horses get like that. It is. I hate it for Big Ben. I liked him. Hickory is a 10 year old gelding. He is blind in both his eyes and I'm going to show you guys what we've done with him so far today. He's actually a really good boy 
and he loves his he loves attention and he loves getting baths too we've had him trimmed by the farrier and he did well he can get a little unbalanced in his hind end when he was holding it up for really long but he didn't do bad he definitely needs a home where someone will just love on him and ride him when they want to ride and someone that has experience with blind horses would be best because they're not always the easiest to deal with. He listens really well. When you go out there, you can call his name and he looks right at you. Wait, good boy. Ready? He stands when you mount and until you ask him to go forward. Good boy. He definitely rides really well. Like I said, I think he def had a job beforehand and then just went blind and they had sent him to the auction. You're going up on the bridge. Watch your step. Watch your step. Good boy. What a good boy. You can see that time he kind of slowed his step down. So that way he didn't hit it as much when he wanted to step up on it. I definitely think he could make someone a trail horse if you were trail riding with a group so he had the horses to follow. So that is Hickory and we're hoping that he can find a, good, a forever home with someone. Like I said, I think he would make a great trail horse that could go out on groups. He's young enough. He still has a lot of life left in him. Phantom's coming for a little ride on Hickory. He's gonna learn to ride and train horses. That's gonna be his job here. All right, <clears throat> hello, good morning. Uh, we're here filming and we have some special packages here for the farrier because he was melting. All right, so we we have something for you here. Oh, I love surprises. All right, hold on, hold on, we gotta, I'll grab that. Okay, you stay over there. Oh, look at here, it's a big <laughs> box here. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, well, you know I got my knife. <laughs> All right, so what happened last episode? You were melting. Oh, I was melting bad. It was, uh, and it's still gonna be that way for a while. We still have a lot of hot weather till probably end of September before it actually cools off some. The, they say it's not the heat, it's the humidity, but I think it's both, so. <laughs> and it is raining today, because we're in today the hurricane. Today is gonna be an awesome day, it's actually, 76, 77 right now. The hurricane weather's hitting us and it's a, it's a blessing in disguise. Something well, let's else, open so it up and see what's in here. See what's in here. Right here. Yeah, you got a little note right there. Note. You need to be very careful how you read it. What's this say? A gift for you. Enjoy your gift. I hope the fan will give you relief from the heat. Let's create a melt-free zone for the farrier. Thanks <laughs> for, for providing care for the horses and their hooves. Hang on. Boy, look at awesome. here. Thanks for joining. This is nice right here. I think he's happy. This is perfect. Yeah. Yeah, that's going to put some air out. But it should cool you down. And I think the horses are going to enjoy it too. They're going to love it. Because it's going to be blowing on them and you. My name is Garrick and uh, I've been coming out here for, gosh, I don't know, a while now. and. Uh, I get to do some of the transportation around here for the horses and I get to do all the shoeing and the trimming and you know it's really a challenge sometimes but we're up for a challenge and we're going to do what's best for the horses and um, it's just been a it's been a great experience being here it's been a great experience I even get to watch myself on TV when I'm home so that's that's even and your kids yeah my kids love it and so yeah. thanks for opening these. Thank you guys so much. And thanks so much. for sending them. Thank y'all. And uh...
I carry a small stall jack, bend shoes, nails. And then uh, I have a bigger anvil in here as well that I can spread the bigger shoes with, so. This is Vanna. She is going to get her feet done by Garrick today. She has been having some founder trouble and so we're gonna try to put some new shoes on her and see if it helps her at all. first one. She is the draft mule that came from our last auction. All right, Muffin, you're up. Maddie, who's this? This is Mary Legs. And what are we doing today? She's getting her feet trimmed. She's not super long yet, but we're gonna do it now before she gets really long. Alrighty. Yeah. Look at the before. We got before. And after. This is Lance. He is going to get his shoes pulled today. And got a little shot for his snotty nose. All right, Lance is getting his shoes pulled today. It's been a good day. We got a lot done. Everything turned out really well. The horse that was really tender this morning, first thing, I think she's gonna be okay. She seems to be getting better. Uh, got her standing up more now, so hopefully that'll help take some pressure off. And everything up here we trimmed looked good. Good hoof walls, good feet, so we're just thankful for the cool rain. It feels so good. We just got a call from somebody that's donkeys got loose on the road and she lives across a bridge. She can't get the donkeys across the bridge and she's asked us for help so we're on our way to go help her. All right we are all loaded up and uh, on the road. We've got lots of great help back there. Uh, Hi everybody. Hi. Right. So um, the last I heard is she's gotten them off the road but she hasn't been able to get them across the bridge to her place so it's going to be interesting. Just got a text, so we're gonna pull over and see what's. Maybe she got the donkeys across the bridge. Oh, hey, she got them across the bridge and she's good now. So we don't have to go, but that's the way rescue life is sometimes. You're running around getting everything together, hit the road, and at the time you get halfway there, they fix themselves. So, all right. Guess what guys, today we are going to make the world a better place and we are going to do not one, not two, but three geldings today. Jesse, the little guy that was born here back in January, he's going to get gelded today. He's also going to get his mark chip and his vaccines and everything. He already got his wormer, he's, he's still a little sassy, but we are going to go make the world a better place. Well, I guess we're just doing two geldings today. Jesse isn't quite ready to be gelded yet, so we will move on to the dump. All right, Jack, 
Uh, what happened? Uh, we neutered two donkeys. Donkeys are a little bit harder than horses. There's some vets, that, some horse vets that don't even do them, but um, I've never been smart enough to be scared of that, so I go on and neuter them. But we do try to put a stitch in them when to cut down on the bleeding some because they have larger testicles. They look like they're doing good now, so we're pretty happy. Saw you walking by today With the sunset in your eyes I couldn't find the strength to say What was running through my mind You couldn't help but notice me that awkward smile from the other side of Thompson Street I felt love for a little while cause you looked beautiful in the sunset glow in that sunset glow Pippa and Duke were two of our special needs horses and they were thankfully able to find a home together. Pippa was fully blind, or is fully blind, and it is very hard to care for some fully blind horses because they need a lot of trust and assurance when you're working with them. And it can take a long time to get that trust. So it's really nice that she has someone that's gonna be able to bond with her and get that trust built. And then Duke is very old, he's 28 years old, so it's really nice that he was able to go to a home with someone that's gonna be able to continue his care and keep the weight on him. Because as horses get older, it's hard to keep weight on them, so that makes them kind of special needs. So it's really nice that she was able to adopt two special needs horses and Nyla. She, Nyla doesn't have any special needs. She's young and able to keep getting ridden. So they're gonna use her as a companion for the two and they're gonna keep riding her. We're out here protesting across from the Shelbyville Times Gazette. Um, they have made a point of being a proud sponsor of the Big Lick Horse Show. And they basically said they're not gonna, they're not gonna post both sides of the story. They only wanna show and support of the Big Lick. And this is a very important uh, topic that needs to have the side that is showing that, you know, we're against this and it's animal cruelty. And um, we've had a person stop by. He was very supportive. He said he lives across from it and he's, he's, he's just appalled by what they do. Um, so we've already been here just a short time. We're still setting up and we already have people pulling up saying, thanking us for being out here. So we're seeing, um, some good good stuff already from the community and we're hoping that our presence out here saying that hey this is not okay that maybe it will help wake them up and the fact that um, we're out here is making a point that we're not okay that this is animal abuse and this side of the story needs to be told and they might want not want to be telling it but we will be out here telling it and all of you our viewers will be sharing it and hopefully enough awareness will come about where horses are no longer shown in stacks and chains and sword. This is Glimmer. I took this photo right after I rescued him at auction. His, he had had so much soaring from chemical burns, his skin was just oozy flesh. And um, I took this picture right after I rescued him. And this is not a rare thing. This is common. And if you look over in the window right now, they are watching us out the side window. Um, 
They have been uh, moving from window to window. They don't want to be filmed. When the camera just went over there, they, they moved away. Um, now they're back at the front window and they're very perturbed that we're out here, but we can be here and we can be a voice for the horses. I am a Tennessean my whole life. I just feel that this has got to end. These people don't understand or they've been brought up in this so long that they, they just gotten to where they just are so cold to this that they just they don't see that there's something wrong with it. But when you put horses in these big stacks that weigh like eight pounds on each, each of their front feet and they're made to live in those 24 seven, they're made to live in a stall their whole life, they're herd animals. This big lick needs to end. Horses do not move this way without being forced to do so by cruelty. There is absolutely no reason for these beautiful walking horses who have a lovely natural gait to do this big lick. They do not move this way, period, without being abused into doing it. Every time we come out, we try to make a little impact, and I think today we did a big impact. People seeing what, what they're doing and that they're supporting it, and hopefully they'll help put a stop to it for next year. So this is Willow. She came from our May auction with a, a large lot of babies. Um, she's definitely the most nervous out of them, and she's taking the most time to settle down. But she definitely needs someone that can just take their time with her, and it can be a one-person kind of horse. She is only two. That's what we estimated her age at. But I still think she's going to grow quite a bit. Good girl. What a good girl. I can slowly work my way on her face, down her shoulder. Hopefully I'll get to her body. You see that makes her a little bit more nervous, but she is dealing with it. Good girl. And that's what I want. So this is Ember. She was also one of the babies from the May auction. It's actually her, Willow, and Duncan are the last three. And she's really calmed down a lot. She came in very nervous. Um, but lately she's just really changed her demeanor ever since we've been working with her. And she's really started to love attention. She's one of the first ones to come and greet you when you go in with their group. You can see she's a lot more calm than Willow was. You can, her lips are starting to relax a little bit. Her eye, you can tell, is a little bit calmer. Like I said, we've done some leading with her. We actually had the vet do come out and take x-rays on one of her feet and the farrier was able to trim it the same day. So that's Ember. And hopefully we can find her and Willow Holmes for someone that wants to take a young horse and bring them along. Huh? So our last baby is Duncan and he was from the same lot and he's definitely calmed down a lot. He came in very nervous, but he's really started to calm down and come around. Good boy. He doesn't mind the leading part of it, but when it comes to touching him, he can be a little bit reactive. Um, so hopefully someone here today will be interested in Willow, Duncan, and Ember, or several people will be, and they can really give them a home, just focus their time on them, bring them along and it can be a lifelong partner for them. So this little kitten was found in an aluminum pile right by my house. Um, if anyone knows aluminum plants, aluminum plants will take it and burn it down so it's just a liquid. So this kitten was found in a pile that was about to get burned down. They had the loader ready to lift, pick it up and they heard meowing. So if we didn't find this kitten, this kitten would have been burned alive, which is very upsetting. So I'm really happy this kitten was saved and be able to be found. When they first found it, they thought it was gonna die because it was so wet, scared, shaking, and everything like that. They thought it was on the verge of death. But then it was able to dry off and get a little bit of love last night at my house. And now, sh now huh, she's doing really well. She's a little scared and skittish, but she's getting better. Hopefully someone will see her on here and wanna give her a really good home. Um, she's so sweet when she starts to warm up to you. And she's so young. She definitely is too young to be away from her mom, I think. So hopefully she starts to love everyone, make some of the friends with the cats here, 
and can find her forever home. <laughs> You're so cute. This is the other kitty.